Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're going to take another look at polygons, but this time we're going to focus on the sum of the interior angles. Now that sounds kind of fancy and maybe a little complicated, but I promise you that at the end of this video, we'll have a nice formula that captures the sum of the interior angles for any polygon we come across. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this example. And to do that, we need to take a look at some polygons here. Now you'll notice that the polygons that are shown here are a little different than the other polygons that I've shown in the previous videos. These six polygons are not regular polygons. We see here that the sides are not all equal to each other, and more importantly for us, the angles inside, the interior angles, they are not all equal as well. But that's okay for us, because I wanted to show you that when we're finding the sum of the interior angles, that it can work for any polygon, for regular or for non-regular polygons. Now, what does it mean to find the sum of the interior angles? Well, what that means is we want to add up all of the angles inside of the polygon, the interior angles, those angles inside, and we want to find out what that sum is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the top three so we can focus in on the triangle, the quadrilateral, and the pentagon. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and label all of the interior angles. We see that the triangle has three sides, so it has three interior angles. For the quadrilateral, we know that that's a four-sided polygon, and so we're also going to have four angles inside there as well. Finally, our pentagon here, you probably have figured it out, that the number of sides for the polygon is actually also the number of interior angles. Remember, N here is representing the number of sides, but it also represents the number of the interior angles. So for a three-sided shape, three angles inside. Four-sided shape, four interior angles. And for our five-sided shape, the pentagon, we're gonna have five interior angles. Now we wanna find out what the sum of those interior angles are for any polygon we come across. Now I think, Looking at these three here, I think we already know what one of those sums are. If we zoom in on our friend the triangle, we should hopefully by now know what the, uh, the angles inside add up to. Remember that for any triangle we come across, all three of those angles are going to add to 180 degrees. That's something that we know, or hopefully should know at this point that for any triangle we come across, those three angles add up to 180 degrees. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a nice little memory like that for quadrilaterals. We don't know what all those four angles inside are going to add up to. But here's the trick that we wanna do. If we can maybe cut this quadrilateral up into triangles, well, then I could just count how many triangles I have and then multiply it by 180 degrees and then I'll know what it adds up to. So that's what we're gonna do for this quadrilateral. I'm gonna actually divide this quadrilateral up into as many triangles as I can by connecting one vertex to another. You'll see there that I'm gonna go ahead and divide this quadrilateral up by connecting those two vertices, and we see what we end up creating there is actually two separate triangles. Two triangles, that both have a sum of 180 degrees for its interior angles. And look at the interior angles for those two triangles. Those angles there, those interior angles, are actually showing all of the interior angles for that quadrilateral. So if I'm trying to find out what the sum of the interior angles are for this quadrilateral, I just gotta count up the fact that there are two triangles inside. And we know that when we have one triangle, one triangle adds up to 180 degrees. In this case, I have two triangles. So all I have to do here is take 180 degrees and multiply it by the number of triangles inside. For our, our quadrilateral here, that is two triangles. So 180 degrees times two means that the sum of the interior angles for a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. 
you'll see that it actually ends up being just 180 degrees more than the triangle because I'm able to create two triangles inside that quadrilateral. Now I wanna go ahead and use that same idea with our friend the pentagon here. I wanna see, can I cut up this pentagon into some triangles so that I can figure out what the sum of the interior angles are. So let's go ahead and get my ruler out again. I'm gonna start with one of those vertexes, or should I say vertices, and I'm gonna connect it to another vertex there so I can start creating some triangles. Now when I draw that one in, I see that I have created this first triangle up there. But this shape down here is not another triangle. I see that I've ended up creating a quadrilateral. So I'm gonna need to cut that one up as well. So I'm gonna get that ruler back here and I'm gonna rotate it, still using that vertex at the top, to connect it to this other vertex here at the bottom. And by lining up my ruler, I can go ahead and see that by connecting those two vertices, drawing in that line to show that connection, I see what happens is I end up creating two more triangles. So in the pentagon here, I have one, two, three different triangles. Three triangles, and each of those triangles has a sum of 180 degrees. So to find the sum of the interior angles for this pentagon, I'll just take 180 degrees, I'll multiply it by the three triangles inside, and we'll see that that ends up equaling 540 degrees. That is the sum of the interior angles for a pentagon. So look at that. Just by knowing that the triangle adds up to 180 degrees, we know that the quadrilateral will be 360 and the pentagon will be 540. Let's go ahead and extend this now. We won't do all these shapes, but we'll do a couple of them. Let's go ahead and extend that to the hexagon. Again, thinking about taking that hexagon and cutting it up into triangles by connecting one vertex to another. All I'm gonna do is keep rotating this ruler around using that vertex at the top to connect that vertex to one of the other vertexes. And as I move this around, we see that as I'm doing this, we are creating some triangles there that hopefully will be able to add up to 180. Let's see if I can make that ruler straight. There we go, keeps moving out of the way. There we go. As I put in that final line there, we see that the hexagon, I'm able to create one, two, three, four triangles. Four triangles there for the hexagon. So to find out what the sum of those interior angles are, remember a hexagon has six of those angles inside. I'm trying to find out what they all add up to. Well, let's take 180 degrees. Let's multiply it by four and we'll see that that ends up equaling 720 degrees. Now I'm hoping at this point, you're starting to notice a pattern. There is a pattern when we're trying to find the sum of these interior angles for our polygons. And what I wanna draw your attention to is the number of sides for the polygon. We had four, we had five, we had six. And then I wanna draw your attention to the number of triangles that we found inside of those polygons. You'll notice with the quadrilateral, we found two triangles inside. For the pentagon, five sides, there were three triangles. And for the hexagon, six sides, there were four triangles. Notice that the number of triangles I'm able to find in each polygon is always two less than the number of sides. And then we just take that number and we multiply it by 180. So now when I get to this heptagon here, I could start to divide it up and I could get my ruler and I could start trying to divide this heptagon up into triangles just like we've done to figure out how many triangles are gonna be inside. But I don't think that that's actually necessary now. If we think about that logic, that I know that there are seven sides and the number of triangles inside is always two less, then I know that I'm going to take 180 degrees and I'm gonna to need to multiply it by five. Because there are seven sides in there, 
I know that the number of triangles inside is going to be two less, so five. 180 times five is gonna tell me that this heptagon is gonna have a sum of 900 degrees for its interior angles. And as we realize that, I hope we're starting to understand what this formula is actually going to look like here. If you're trying to find the sum of the interior angles for any polygon, you first have to find out how many sides your polygon has. Now the number of sides dictates how many triangles fit inside. With the octagon, it has eight sides. So I know inside I'm going to have six triangles because it's always two less. So for the formula we're coming up with here at the top, I'm gonna say that I need the number of sides, but I need to subtract two. I'm subtracting two so I can find out the number of triangles inside. There are six triangles inside an eight-sided shape. Now, once I have the number of triangles, we see here that on every single shape here, we ended up multiplying that number by 180. And that's because triangles have a sum of 180 degrees. So the formula we wanna use here is 180 degrees times n minus two. The n minus two represents the number of triangles inside the polygon being multiplied by 180 degrees. That formula there will tell us the sum of the interior angles for any polygon, either it being regular or non-regular. So if I look here at the octagon, I know if I'm using that formula, let me zoom in here, I know I gotta take 180 degrees and I know inside there is eight sides. Well, eight minus two means that there are the six triangles inside that we already knew. And 180 times six is going to give us a value of 1,080 degrees. So the sum of all of those interior angles inside this uh, non-regular octagon, I know that they all end up adding up to 1,080 degrees. You're gonna notice here that I have three more shapes on the bottom. If I wanted to find out what those sums are, all I would need to do is use our formula. For the nonagon, it's going to be 180 degrees times nine minus two. For the decagon here, the 10-sided shape, 180 degrees times 10 minus two. And finally, for our 12-sided shape, the dodecagon, I know that I'll have 180 degrees times 12 minus two. By using that formula and being sure to input the number of sides as n, all we have to do is subtract two and then times by 180. And we'll be able to find the sum of our interior angles for any given polygon. It's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.